All right, so there we have it. We've used textures X, Y, Z, and some skin textures. We use Xgen to create some hair. I, um, yeah, set the scene up in Unreal Engine using that digital human setup. So we got some free texture or materials and lights. It's a nice, realistic looking human. Let's throw in a um, quick light too. It's a little dark. We're taking um, renders. I also recommend creating a different camera rather than just the default ones. I'll show you guys real quick. Ooh, very shiny. Here, we'll keep note of that one. We'll move it later and adjust the brightness. So let's create a camera, cinematic, cinematic camera. Let's uh, let's look through that guy. Where's our select our person? Let's um, select our camera. It's not our camera. Here it is. All right, let's uh, let's turn off the blur since it's a little bothersome right now. Focus settings, focal off. All right, let's take that point light and calm it down because it's a little crazy. Ah, jeez. There we go. That's a little bit nicer. Some of that hair is uh, stuck in darkness. Let's uh, smooth around a little bit, get that nice sheen. Uh, let's not lose too much detail in the darkness. Oh, that was pretty nice. Let's look at our camera. What else? Um, 50 mil 55 millimeter. That's pretty good. Maybe we should do 30. Let's try it out. Yeah, 30 is not bad. So when you're ready, you just uh, let's go to game mode, game view. It's nice. Um, cinematic. I'm also running up. So I'm also running a 4K, so there's another reason why my computer is kind of chugging along. But once you have your character all set up, the uh, light lit, materials, everything, go ahead and take a nice high resolution screenshot. Maybe even double it. Now we're at 8K or something. Take a picture. Get some nice angles here and there. I guess uh, AKs take a while to process. Let's see uh, why it's taking so long. All right. Oh, one more thing. Make this movable. Yeah, no more lighting rebuild if it's all dynamic, right? Am I in my camera? Oh, there we go. Let's just, let's just take the one for now. You can edit the lights if you want. I'm not quite the lighting master yet. Yet is the correct. All right, and now we have some stuff for our portfolio. Nice. Show off your hair, your understanding of materials. Good job. All right. 
Oh yeah, one more thing. You can change the color of your hair if you like. So let's say we want to give her some nice dark eyelashes. Let's duplicate this. Or let's look at the material. All right, let's create an instance of this since it's got already got a parameter for color. Let's rename this eyelash. Throw this on there, double click it. All right, let's make this darker, kind of like mascara. Oh, yeah, there we go. See how uh, nice. All right. We can make it a little more rough, or would be less rough, I guess. Make it shiny. There's a lot of physics you can control with um, with the new hair system. I haven't quite figured out how to do most of it yet, but it's there. Make it dynamic which really cuts my frames down, I think, on this character at least, with all the peach fuzz and all that. Um, hair color demo. Let's put it on that. Let's see what color hair we can make her. Make hair black, maybe reddish. And is that auburn, copper? That looks pretty nice. Pretty cool. You can make it like bluish even. Oh man, now we're getting somewhere. That's pretty nifty. Now we're making games. <laughs> Let's see. I think. But anyways, you guys get the point. And uh, yeah, you got this nice peach fuzz. Look at the lips. They're pretty good. The pores are showing. Eyelashes came out pretty good. Eyebrows. Nice. Baby hairs. All right, well, thanks for following along. Hope you've uh, learned something. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you next time.